guys welcome to my channel or welcome back um sorry for the couple deli day delay and upload i had some migraines so um but i wanted to go ahead and do this upload i know this was supposed to be on saturday but i wanted to go ahead and make this um video for you guys for my all in um book for Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Comment down below your favorite book, but just um, subscribe and stay tuned for some more awesome book reviews. But this book, y'all, this book was, just was, like, tense. Like, we found out so much in this book. Um, this book is the third book in the um naturals series i will link down in the description um my reviews um of the naturals and the killer instinct books but y'all we found out so much about um in this book um it kind of starts with um, cassie going home for um Christmas, I think, and we find out that she finds, or they find a body that they think is her mom's, and then they go to Vegas, and they're, um, investigating these murders, um, and things like that, and we find out so much about Sloane's family, and, um, that we don't know before i don't want to give away too much because i want y'all to go read the book because y'all y'all have to read this series because it is so good this book is like amazing this series is amazing if you love this kind of stuff this book it's so twisted so many plot twists um we meet sloan's um what is it? We meet Sloane's father, Grayson Shaw, who owns one of the, um, owns one of the, um, um, sorry, one of the casinos that some of the murders take place in. And we also meet Sloane's son, or Sloane's not son, what am I saying? Trying to create a plot twist that did not happen. Um, Sloane's brother, or half-brother, who unfortunately gets murdered in this book. Um, and we just learned a lot about Cassie's, um, murder, or Cassie's mom, who we presume is dead due to the amount of blood that, um, is in the crime is in the room um is in the dressing room where she is found we were we everyone just kind of assumed she was dead and they found the blood her blood on the remains and things like on these remains that they found so everyone just assumed like yeah these this is Cassie's mom's remains, her body, she's officially dead, we found the body, but at the very end um, of the book, when they solved the um, Nightshade case, which they go into detail in this book, which um, is like a cult situation, like kind of like their, um, that was related, that the, which, which was the case that they were trying to solve, which they killed Judd Hawkins' daughter, which is kind of like their guardian. Um, and it was a whole thing. If you read the series, you would know that they find out through Nightshade at the very end of the book that um, they, this cult, actually kidnapped, um, like, kidnapped her mother and the dead body that they found was her predecessor and the mom is um involved in the cult and they basically made her kill her predecessor and the cult is seven is seven masters um the pifia 
Pythia in 9. It's a whole thing. I don't want to give away too much. You have to read the um, book. It's a whole like serial killer um, crazy thing. It's um, very interesting if you love like crime shows. It's definitely very much like if you like um, stuff like um, what would I want to compare it to? Um, very much like Criminal Minds. If you like, not Criminal Minds, but if you like, like Special Victims Unit. If you like Law and Order Special Victims Unit. It's very, this book very, especially this book. I would say very much gave me the Law and Order Special Victims Unit kind of vibe. The first two kind of did too. But especially this book, if you love kind of like that Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, like those types of shows, then I'll definitely recommend you read this series. You definitely need to read the first two before you get to this book. But this book, y'all, it could be how tired I am trying to film this before I go to bed. But this book... five out of five stars um i just finished reading it it was definitely one of the best books i've read in a long time i would definitely recommend you reading it if you love like law and order svu ncis any of those types of things but you definitely need to read the whole series together i've already started bad blood which is the last book in the series and it definitely continues that kind of same vibe um, so if you love this type of show, this is definitely the series for you. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of plot twists, a lot of character development. You learn a lot about Sloane, which I loved Sloane. I love Sloane. Um, so I like that we learned a lot about her in this book. Um, and... You learned a lot about Cassie's mom's case, which I was interested in from the beginning. And so I definitely think that this book or this series, the natural series is definitely underrated, but you definitely have to read the naturals and killer instinct first and then read this book. But this is definitely the probably I thought killer instinct was the best. But this one's definitely the best in the series. I've started Bad Blood, but I definitely think that All In is going to be my favorite, favorite, favorite in the series. Because I'm already about two hours into Bad Blood. Because I'm reading the audiobook version. And I think All In is going to be my overall crowning favorite in the series. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Hey guys, I'm sorry that I was kind of all over the place for this. Um, I just kind of wanted to make it really quick and get this posted just to kind of give y'all my opinion. But I wanted to kind of tell y'all um, what y'all can kind of expect um, for content um, this week. So on Tuesday, Y'all can expect a Braille Note video of some kind. I haven't decided yet on exactly what I'm going to do. It might be how I configure my settings or how to download an app or something like that. I haven't decided yet, but on Tuesday, y'all can um, expect a Braille Note video of some type. And then on Wednesday y'all can expect a um bad blood the bad blood um review the last review or the last review of um the naturals series um and then on Thursday I have it right here I'm gonna use this an iPad probably to do a voiceover video of some kind 43 a.m. 38 notifications sorry not, 44 8. um i can't sleep because i took a nap to get rid of a migraine earlier so i'm going ahead and filming this um 
I am going to um, do a voiceover video, maybe like how I set up or my like accessibility preferences, like how to download a voice, what my accessibility preferences are, maybe how to set up voiceover on an iPad or an Apple product, something like that. Um, and then, um, Friday, there's two videos I'm kind of debating on doing. I might either do, um, something along the lines of, like, um, maybe, like, the history, some sort of, like, the history of, and maybe do, like, the history of Braille, or, um, maybe like the history of something like blindness related either the history of braille or the history of um something like that or maybe um i might post um like on my facebook and instagram some see if y'all can give me some like or if y'all actually, if y'all comment down below and tell me some myths or some misconceptions or just some assumptions that y'all have about blindness down below. Because um, I would love to do this, like, um, this type of video. If y'all tell me some assumptions y'all have about blindness. Um... I would love to do on Friday if um, I get enough people to comment. Um, I would love to do like assumptions about blindness, true or false kind of thing. So definitely do that. I'm going to do like the history of Braille if I don't get any assumptions. But if yeah, if I do get any assumption, I get enough assumptions, and I'll post this on like my social media platforms, and remind y'all through the week as well. But if I get enough assumptions, um, throughout the week, I will do on Friday like an assumptions like video. So y'all let me know. Alrighty. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day and I will see y'all on Tuesday to do a Braille Note Touch Plus video. And see y'all next time. Bye.